So some of you have learned to program in a language like Python, which is pretty popular today, that does not enforce the same rules about types as Kotlin does. And so I want to pause for a minute and talk a little bit about what types are for and try to justify why we use them in a programming language. And so here's the fundamental argument, which is computers today are incredibly powerful. Um, you're going to use that power to do all kinds of things. But here's one other thing that we can use that power to do. We can use computer power to help us write computer code more effectively, more efficiently, more correctly. Um, you know, solving problems is fun and exciting, but you know what's even more fun and exciting than solving problems? Solving problems quickly, so you can solve more problems, right? So you can come up with better solutions and innovate more and keep changing the world, right? And computers are one of your best friends when it comes to aiding that quest. Now, if we want a computer to help us with our code, one of the things we need to do is we need to tell it more about what the code is doing. And here's where types come into play. So I want to use a simple example here. Let's say that we're trying to, we have two variables, x and y. And then at a certain point in the code, we add x and y together. Maybe we save it to a variable z, or maybe we print it or whatever, okay? So I've got x and y and I've got a plus in between. Is that a valid statement or not? Now, the answer to that depends entirely on what X and Y contain when the statement is executed, right? So when I get to the line of code that adds X and Y together, whether or not I can complete that operation, whether or not it's a valid operation depends on what is X and what is Y? Because we will see that there are types of data that we can use in our computer programs that can't be added together. Like let's say X stores a cat object and Y stores a dog object. We can't add those two. We tried, actually it worked out really well. They were very good to each other. But the point is, it's not a meaningful operation. The plus sign only has meaning as an operator when you apply it to certain types of data. So if X contains a number and Y contains a number, then I could add them together, right? Um, but even think about the data types that we've been using so far. What if X contains a Boolean value and Y contains a Boolean value? Does it mean anything to add them together? No, right? You don't add two Booleans. What if X contains a character and Y contains a number. Should I add them together? Probably not, that's probably a mistake, right? Um, you know, numeric types I can usually add together, but if I tried, also, what if I tried to add a Boolean to a number? Does that make any sense? No. And so these type of, this type of simple mistake, this is a variant of a much, much more complicated set of mistakes, but whether or not the computer can help you find it is entirely determined by the answer to this question. Does the computer know what is stored in X and what is stored in Y? And notice that the values of X and Y are not important. It's the type of data that's stored in. So for example, if X contains a Boolean, it could be true or false, it doesn't matter. It still can't be added, right? But if X contains a number, it could be one, it could be negative one, it could be a million, it could be 88. It doesn't matter, it can be added. And this is the power of types in our computer program. They allow the computer, they allow Kotlin to check our code more effectively and find mistakes. This is something that languages like Python cannot do. And that is a huge weakness. I've written a lot of Python code. I don't write Python anymore. The reason is I actually want to make progress in my life and not spend a lot of time hunting down strange errors. And Python fundamentally cannot find and help you fix a huge category of mistakes that type languages like Kotlin can. Kotlin will notice when you are trying to add two incompatible things and it will say, whoa, 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 hold on, uh, X is a Boolean and Y is an int and you cannot add those two together. Something is wrong with your code because normally that type of error indicates some type of other programming problem. There's some other problem with your code. Maybe you forgot that X was a Boolean and you thought it was some other type or maybe you were in a fugue state and you just wrote some strange piece of code that made no sense. I've been there, right? So who knows? Um, 
But the point is that extra bit of information, it may seem like a pain to you when you're getting started because when you don't have enforced type rules, the language is a lot more flexible. You can have a variable X and one minute it can store an int and the next minute it can store a Boolean like that's kind of okay, right? We can't do that in Kotlin. Once a variable stores a particular type of data, we can't change the type of that variable as the code runs. And the reason for that is because if we changed it, then Kotlin wouldn't be able to help us find those mistakes. So this is really all about allowing the computer to help you write better code more quickly. When you write code in languages that don't use types, you know, you, you can spend all night lying in bed worrying about whether or not the code is broken because it's possible that there are errors that you just haven't encountered yet. Whereas when you use typed languages, you have now engaged this powerful ally, the computer, in your programming process. And the computer is going to be able to help you find mistakes like this to allow you to sleep a little bit easier and also write more code faster and change the world better. So that's the goal. The other thing that's happened over the past 10 years is the types have gotten a lot easier to use in computer programs. Kotlin is a great example of this. Using types in Kotlin is very convenient. It's very simple. It doesn't require a lot of extra syntax like it used to in certain older languages. So the languages themselves and their support for uh, this uh, type of uh, working with data is a lot better. But I think what you'll find is that uh, this becomes natural quite quickly. It's also natural to think about your variables as having types. And that, again, the real reason to do this, just always remember this when you're fighting sometimes with Kotlin because you can't figure out what type of variable it should be, this is so that the computer can help you. And the computer is a fantastic ally when it comes to writing better code.